Pat Love back with Love Healing Hearts. Just want to share a word. This is precious. God shared this with me one night when I was crying, repenting. Now, I had already been saved for years, but I was repenting for the years of ignorant eating and ignorant things I had done when I was unsaved and things that could have caused me long-term sicknesses, illnesses, or even death. And while I was crying my heart out to God, I kept seeing Psalms 91. Psalms 9. It just kept flashing in my head. Well, finally, I kind of figured maybe God wanted me to read it. So that's what I did. And I'm going to share it with you. Wonderful promises in this. You have got to hear these promises. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy feet or foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Ah, what a precious promise. So many promises in that long life, supernatural protection, divine health. I mean, it's just so much. But we have to stay close to him. Our trust has to be in him. Our confidence has to be in him. We can't trust in the threats of ISIS. We can't trust in the promises of the president or the king or the queens of these countries. We can't trust in anybody not even our family members, honestly, but God. Our family members can make a promise and be good by it, but if they drop dead tomorrow, they can't live up to their promise. God never dies. And God always lives up to his promises. Trust in the Lord. Stick close to him, you guys. In him, we have our being. In Him, we have our protection. In Him is our safety. In Him is the love we have always wanted all of our lives. In Him is fullness of joy. In Him is health and healing. In Him is the deliverance and removal of all of our pain from the past. In Him is our peace. God bless you. I don't want to get emotional. Just whatever you do, stay in him.